What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely incredible day. I know I am. If you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, Karen's husband will actually RKO your dog. Yeah, no joke. Billy Joel Olstein is her husband and he will break into your closet and steal your dog and body slam him. I've seen it happen. Uh, on a real note though guys, hope you guys are all having an absolutely incredible day, my name is Scrubby, and uh, today I had a little bit of a run-in with Karen's husband, you know, I used to think he was cool, I used to think he was the person grounding Karen, but today I saw a side of him that I never knew I was gonna see, okay, the side of him that made me realize, oh my god, they're a crazy married couple, alright, not only did he deceive me with the idea that he was normal, but apparently he is in fact crazier than his wife, yeah, I know what you're thinking, the lady that broke into my house and uh, threatened to get me arrested and evicted is somehow outshined by her husband but trust me by the end of the story you guys will pick up what i'm putting down so uh yeah without further ado let's get into the video three two one a rivadanchi my sexy beautiful friends so uh yeah today i was chilling i just got home from san diego i was unpacking my car and as i'm unpacking my car and taking my luggage inside from the airport uh her, her husband walks up to me and he says hey man can we talk for a second about your youtube channel and i'm like yeah sure you know because every other time i've interacted with karen's husband he's been pretty chill i've been like yeah i know my wife's a little crazy but like can you cut her a break but today he just kind of looks at me and he goes you know what you're doing is illegal right and i'm like uh wh what are you talking about bro and he basically tells me that he was talking to his lawyer friend and uh found out that it is in fact not illegal or it is it's not legally not legally protected if i change people's names as long as the contents of the story are about that person right so he basically tells me that uh, all the stories i've been telling about his wife can actually be traced back to his wife and he's talking to his lawyer about filing legal action to get my videos taken down so obviously I'm sitting here with my suitcase in my hand and I'm like uh okay well uh, I, I thought you were cool dude like we've never had beef and he's like yeah but now you've gone too far you've made too many videos about my wife I can't believe you would do this we're supposed to be neighborly I had your back at first but you know my hands are tied it's my wife and I'm like dude I get it your wife is insane you know but um uh, first of all if if this is true like I, I need to talk to a lawyer all right I'm gonna call one after this video but like if it is true somehow that it's illegal for me to tell stories about his wife he would also have to admit that his wife broke into my house and was like overall harassing me so I don't really know how that's gonna work but regardless he's sitting here and I kind of tell him I'm like dude this is ridiculous like you do realize that you are actually threatening legal action against a 20 year old because your wife is insane and he's like my wife isn't insane at this point the harassment she's gone through is too much and I'm like dude what harassment none of my fans know who she is where she lives or anything of the sort right like unless some of you guys without me knowing doxed my address doxed the person across the street from me address and then found out who karen is i don't think you're being harassed right and he's like no it's not harassment from your friends it's harassment from you uh pause wait a minute hold up hold up mr may i speak to your manager if that is your real name you're telling me that i've harassed your wife by making youtube videos on her that i never sent to her or tagged her in about about her breaking into my house and trying to get me evicted and calling the cops on me that that's me harassing your wife bro I don't know how many brain cells you have it's very clear that it's not a lot all right like you probably look at the clock and see the amount of brain cells you have working on a daily basis every five minutes you know it's 1 to 12 maybe on a good day it's 12 but clearly you are super slow bruh that's not harassment if your wife doesn't like the videos I've made how about she does this magical thing called doesn't watch them but nah your stupid wife is sitting there with notifications on for my channel waiting for me to talk about this stuff and uh, obviously he doesn't like that very much he's like my wife is not stupid she just wants to know what people think about her I'm like dog first of all uh -huh. these videos aren't about her you know uh, legally <laughs> Karen is not her real name so therefore I am fine but also that's so stupid. If you don't like the videos I make about you, you really have two options. Either stop being a crazy person who threatens to sue me every five minutes, or like, maybe, just maybe, maybe, don't watch them. It's not difficult, but whatever. Me and her husband are standing here arguing in my front lawn, like in my driveway while I'm holding my suitcase for probably 10 minutes, as I politely explain to him that him and his wife are both psychopaths that deserve to be in a mental hospital. When out of nowhere, like we're arguing about how insane his wife is in my YouTube videos, he goes, and not to mention, when I, when I was in your backyard this weekend, you're blah, blah, blah is enough to code for the neighborhood and I'm like hold up I was not home this weekend I was in San Diego you're telling me 
that you were like, hmm, he's not home. Better go into his backyard. Do you and your wife not understand what trespassing is? Are both of you this stupid? Like, honestly, how are two people who are so stupid also capable of owning a house and existing in society? You would think with the amount of brain cells that these couple is missing that, that they blatantly should forget how to breathe. But whatever. He basically admits to breaking into my backyard and looking for things to report to the neighborhood about. And I'm like, all right, dude. Well, uh, you just admitted to breaking into my backyard, you moron. And I'm recording the conversation. Well, I, I wasn't, but I wanted to see him freak out. And he's like, you can't record me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dog, get off my property. So at this point, he's getting aggressive. He's like, fine. Well, I guess I'll see you in court then, since you want to be a smart guy and argue with me. You could have just avoided all of this by taking the videos down. And now you're going to see us in court. And uh, you know what, Karen, Karen's husband, since I know you guys for some reason are the biggest fans of my channel, I hope you understand that uh, you're not going to see me in court. Like, first of all, I've made enough money off these Karen videos to get the world's best lawyer, and I will, just to embarrass you in front of the courtroom. But also, on top of that, no judge is going to, like, punish me. I don't know what you expect to happen. All right, the judge says, ahem, you can no longer make videos about Karen. All right, I won't talk about you anymore. Like, that, that's the worst case scenario. I still have this channel. I still make other videos. Like, you're not taking the dub. They're not taking my channel down. I promise you. I promise you that is not going to happen. And to your husband, Karen, I, I don't know what you did to this guy, okay? I don't know what you slipped in his tea or, like, put in his Dr. Pepper or whatever. But how did you get him to be on your side? Bro, like, you need to keep this man. He's so loyal that you literally broke into my house, right? And he went, nah, 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 nah. This kid's clearly in the wrong. Like, I'm a 20-year-old kid. I was in high school two years ago, and now I'm being harassed by a woman who sat behind Jesus in the third grade and her husband, who more than likely, I, I don't know, maybe, like, talked to Moses when they were parting the Red Sea. I don't really know what's going on, but apparently they're going to hit me with a lawsuit now. And uh, I've looked up basically every law there is, and uh, there's nothing. And last time Karen threatened me with a lawsuit, and I brought up the fact that she's done more illegal stuff than I have, she shut her mouth. But apparently they're not afraid of that anymore. So, uh... Yeah, <laughs> Karen's husband is also a psychopath who wants to sue me, but it, but it doesn't end there, right? So after this conversation, I go inside, and I, I think that's going to be the end of it for the day. He goes inside, he huffs off with his little puff. He's a fat guy. I think he rolled down the driveway back over to his side of the yard. I'm not really sure what was going on. And then like 20 minutes later, there's another knock on my door. And obviously, I'm expecting it to be Karen and her husband, and I open it, and sure enough, it's her son, like th their son, right? And I feel horrible for their son. Like, imagine growing up with parents so insane. This has got to be a 0 out of 10 life for this kid. Could you imagine growing up with parents that want to sue everybody that talks about him? Like, th that's got to be toxic, right? So the son's kind of talking to me, and he's apologizing for his mom, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. And then out of nowhere... Karen runs across the street and goes, I see you trying to kidnap my kid. And I'm like, what? What? Excuse me, what? You think I want your kid? Like, I can barely take care of a plant while I'm gone, all right? Like, let's be realistic here. I'm not trying to kidnap your kid. And she's like, I saw you. You were talking to my kid. I can't believe you would try to kidnap my kid. I'm calling the police. And I'm like, um, oh, I was not trying to kidnap your kid. And even her kid's like, mom, he wasn't trying to kidnap me. And she's like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Kids are so easy to manipulate. You're manipulating my child. You're trying to kidnap him. And at this point, I'm like, dog, was this a setup? Did they really send this kid over to try to apologize to me just so they could accuse me of kidnapping him? Whatever. So at this point, I look at Karen and I'm like, all right, you guys call the cops. Try, try to get me for kidnapping. Whatever. Just to let you know, my doorbell has a camera in it, and it filmed the entire interaction. I also have security cameras, so chances are you don't got anything. By the way, I ended up getting the security cameras because Karen was, you know, breaking into my house and being a weirdo, so I wanted proof that she did it next time. So whatever. She's like, well, I guess we'll let the cops decide. So she calls the cops, and I'm sitting here, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, th this is ridiculous. The cops come knock on the door. I show them the footage. The kid very clearly walks up to my house. The entire conversation is recorded. They're like, okay, very obviously, you didn't try to kidnap the kid. Shockingly, I don't have a white van with free candy painted on the side of it in my driveway. I I'm obviously not a kidnapper. I don't even know what I would want to do with a middle school kid. Like, oh, bro, want to play some Fortnite? I don't, I don't know what you was trying to pin on me. So the cops are like, all right, well, you know, this is like the third time we've been called here. Obviously, there's a problem. And so I break down everything that's happened. I break down the lawsuit threats. I break down everything. And the cops are like, wow, you really have a neighbor from hell. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Karen and her husband are wackadoodles, and I need to get out of here. And the cops basically tell Karen to knock it off because this is ridiculous. I very obviously didn't try to kidnap the kids. This is a serious call, whatever. And, and then obviously her and her husband are saying that I'm a, I'm a terrible neighbor. And the cops are like, it's not illegal to be a bad neighbor. First of all, the, the kid didn't do anything. You guys are very obviously like trying to fight him. Second of all, 
it's not illegal to be a bad neighbor, which, thank you, officer, even if I was a bad neighbor. Let's say I was throwing parties every night, just going out of my way to throw trash on their lawn. None of that is illegal. Like, sure, it's not nice to be a bad neighbor, but you can't sue me and try to get me arrested for being a bad neighbor. Whatever. So, a after all this goes down, I come inside, and uh, I immediately look at Grant, because he was over doing the whole ordeal, and I'm like, dude... I, I, I need to make a video about this because, honestly, this keeps getting ridiculous. So, uh, Karen and her husband, I know you're watching this. The longer you keep this up, the longer I'm going to keep making videos about it. Like, I, I explain this every time, but let me say it very, very slowly. The more you guys do dumb stuff, the more views I'm going to get. I'm not trying to kidnap your kid. You can sue me all you want. I, I promise you... I've made more money this month off your idiot wife than you guys have, and, and I can pay for a better lawyer than you. Like, that that's that's a promise. I can promise you that. So please, please sue me, because throughout the course of the lawsuit, I will get more videos about your wife than you ever will anything out of me. I, like, I, I, I promise you. Please stop, for the love of God. Also, please stop using your kid as bait, okay? Like, let, let the poor kid live, all right? He's already gonna get enough flack at school when his parents and everyone else realizes that uh, she's the Karen I've been talking about because the kids in the neighborhood pretty much know it's your, your son's parents. Like, it's you guys. So way to go, 10 out of 10 parenting. You're, you're gonna get your kid, like, messed with in middle school, and that's not cool. But on that note, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. I, I know that uh, this has been quite the saga, okay? I, I know it's getting out of control, and I'm gonna try my best to make sure nothing happens again. I got security cameras. The cops told them to mess up. If, if they keep doing this, I really don't know what else I can do to make them back off. So, uh, yeah. Today's notification shout-out goes to Sawyer Kunkel. Big shout-out to you, dog. Thank you for having notifications on. If you want it, all you gotta do is turn on notifications and send me a screenshot on my Instagram, at Scrubby, and uh, I shout somebody out every day. Other than that, I might release some Karen merch with just, uh, let me talk to your manager. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. And on that note, don't let anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're hot. I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,